everyone welcome back to my channel today i am here with a first impressions pretty much of the new fenty beauty cosmetics line oh my gosh i'm so excited i went to sephora okay so i bought some of it online and then i went to sephora for like the foundation match i bought one of the foundations online and i don't think it's exactly my match so i went ahead to sephora and got another one um and i kept the one that doesn't match just in case just in case and if it doesn't, if like if one matches me better than the other, then I'll just return the other one that doesn't. Um, okay, so yeah, I went to Sephora and it's been a hot, it's been a little while since it actually released. Okay, maybe only like a week or so, but everyone is still at Sephora trying to get the Fenty Beauty like foundation. Like it is, it is intense. Everyone there was for Fenty Beauty. And nothing else the whole rest of the sephora store was empty aside from that um i haven't tried i haven't really tried like actually tried anything yet uh i've only just like foundation match i didn't get any of the tools i kind of wish i did but i didn't get any of the tools but i did touch them in store and they were so soft like they were so soft and i was this close to getting it but i'm like calm down calm down let's go over whatever it is that i got so i got the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte primer and then i also got the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation i got it in shades 210 and 260 the matchstick trios in light and medium the Watt highlighter in mean money and hustla baby so this is the one in mean money and hustler baby of course everybody has like talked about their lip gloss so i went ahead and got the lip gloss which is in fenty glow and honestly i have not looked at any reviews i haven't read any reviews i have just like whenever i go through instagram i just like slide by it because i don't want any opinions i don't want my opinion to be influenced by any other like opinions out there except for the lip gloss i wasn't gonna get the lip gloss but then everyone's saying it's so good and then i also watched you know like the video where rihanna was like okay like we're we are making a lip gloss that's gonna match everyone's skin tone like everyone's skin tone and so i'm just like okay i have to give this a shot like i really do let's do this i wish i got some of the brushes though because then i could really like complete like this whole complexion regimen and then everything would just be good. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Pro Filter Soft Matte Instant Retouch Primer. I'm gonna... I imagine you don't need much because mostly for primers you don't need much. So I'm just gonna do like one squirt. I feel like most times I would probably apply this with a brush, but today I'm using my hands for some reason. I've just decided to use my hands, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead in with my foundation. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try shade 210. I kind of tried shade 260 and I was getting mixed feelings from it. It looked really orange on my skin, like whenever I looked at my neck versus like my I, I tried like this half of my face. It looked really orange whenever I looked at my neck. But when I looked at it straight on, like it looked fine. And I also looked at it from like in my, in this room, in my beauty room. And then it's also in the bathroom and it looked fine. It's just whenever you look at like my neck with my face, it looked really orange. And so I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and try shade 210. So you're supposed to like shake it really well because it is like a watery foundation. And then it was also supposed to be really buildable. I should have gotten the brush that I came with, but I didn't. Um, so I'm gonna use this one instead. This is the Chikihoto GSN05. It has a very similar shape, which is why I'm gonna use it. Let's try one layer first. With, well, one, one coat first, one pump. And it dries really quickly. Uh, whenever I was testing it out, I, I realized that it dries pretty quickly. So you have to work quickly as well. 
Um, and then I also heard like the Sephora employees saying that it dries pretty quickly too. So whenever you put it on, you want to work it immediately. Okay, so this is with two layers. I feel like the coverage is really good. It got like some of my scarring over here. I have this blemish over here. You, I don't know if like you can see. It covered up most of it. I'm pretty sure if I went in with another layer, then it would be like all covered, but it is really red. So it makes sense that it's kind of like peeking through a bit. Um, yeah, so shade 210. Shade 210 is definitely my match. I think I'm going to return shade 260. So I'm looking at the match, match sticks for highlighting. So this is the shade in Linen and then this one is the one in Bamboo. Linen is from the Light Trio and then Bamboo is from the Medium Trio. I'm going to go ahead and use Bamboo from the Medium Trio to kind of like get my under eyes. These matte match sticks are supposed to be used to conceal and correct the skin as well as contour for the darker shades. This is the concealer basically. I don't know if you can see the difference but bamboo on this side and then there's nothing on this side. So you can kind of see how it brightens the under eye area. Now let's go ahead and contour a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use the shade in amber for a nice like subtle contour. Um, That's like super like cool too. And like this definitely more like warm, so I don't know if you can see, but this is gonna look like that. Probably. Probably. Because then like the underside of it's gonna be like super warm and Amber is like extremely cool and then Mocha is really warm and so I'm thinking maybe they'll kind of help balance each other out if I like mix them together. I'm all contoured out. It doesn't look too bad. I do like how they, it looks pretty good like mixed together. Um, well this side's definitely more defined than that side. So these shimmer skin sticks. The skin sticks, the match sticks that are shimmer, not the matte ones that I use for concealing and, high, and contouring. Uh, these shimmer ones are for like blush, cream highlighter, bronzer. So they're supposed to be, you know, multi-use. Um, so if you can see here, this is from the light, this is Starstruck, and this one is from the medium in the shade Trippin'. So Starstruck is definitely more of a highlighting shade in my opinion, and then Trippin' is definitely more of a blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Trippin' for blush. And then I'm not gonna use Starstruck for highlighting since I bought one, since I bought one of the Kilowatt highlighters. So I'm gonna save the highlighting for the powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as blush. Maybe I do need to like warm it up a little bit against my skin. And then that'll help because I feel like it's having trouble, there it goes. Maybe it's just like the initial like wax over or something or you know like sometimes some companies they'll put like a little bit of like shine or like they'll put like a little bit of something to make it look pretty. Like an overspray, that's the word. Like an overspray of sorts. So maybe like you just need to get through that and then it'll look, it'll like apply fine. It adds a little bit of color. I don't want to be like I don't want to be too heavy handed and then it like drag like the foundation everywhere and then my makeup ends up looking like messed up. Actually, I think the brush is just like too
searching for a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange and how we're safe and home? To the neck out in days until the second go If you're gonna break our shades, you have to let me know Turn this shit around, start it up the notes Cause all you need to do It really matches my lips though. It's kind of like a, just a little bit more rosy. And oh yeah, the lip liner that I used was Kylie Exposed. <laughs>